Last up, European crypto exchange hack for 5 million in Bitcoin. What a bummer. Eaterbase, uh, a Slavic crypto exchange, revealed Thursday that it had been hacked for 5 million. Cyber criminals broke into six hot wallets containing Bitcoin, Ethereum, Algo, Ripple, Tezos, and Tron. Oh no, not Tron. Stealing everything it said. So I would just say one thing. Uh, I get emails constantly from different exchanges all over the world that want me to advertise on, on the channel. I just say no because... Um, I just can't do it. I, I just can't do it. I don't know. I mean, they don't have a track record. They're not really proven. There's a lot of risk, but there's a lot of reward on that, you know, uh, but I just won't do it. And this is the reason why, because of stuff like this. Anyhow, it states here, hot wallets are active digital asset accounts connected to the internet. Eaterbase used these wallets to facilitate day-to-day -day act trading activities on its platform. And this is not just them. This is hot wallets are across all different types of exchanges. So it's all about the security measures that they have in place. I need to get a security expert on the channel and talk about how they, how like a Coinbase doesn't get hacked, but Eaterbase does. That'd be interesting. According to a series of messages posted on its Telegram channel, Eaterbase detected the hack. And this is what sucks but was powerless to stop it. Imagine watching 5 million just snap out of existence like Thanos and it just goes away and that's it. You, and, you, and you can't do anything. You're like, oh, there it goes. That would be awful. Eventually, the company tracked the crypto assets as it left its coffers. A large part of the stolen money ended up at Binance, who will be global and hit BTC. It claimed on Twitter, Eaterbase has now contacted these exchanges requesting that the funds be frozen. And I will do a follow-up to this story if this actually happens. And uh, because there is there is two different um, segments of people. One one group is like, you know what? It's cryptocurrency digital assets. So if that happened, too bad, so sad. Sorry, Charlie, you lost your money. There's another part that says, you know what? We have the power and ability to do this. Let's freeze these assets. And this has happened. This is the main reason why Ethereum and Ethereum Classic split uh, because of hacks and uh, trying to rewind what was already done. To me, it's not for me to say. It's not for me to to, to put this in, but I I'm curious to see what is going to happen with this. I'm very curious, actually. Lastly, it states, in July, another European crypto exchange, Kasha, lost 336 Bitcoin, worth 3 million. And then also last year, Japan, uh, Japan's Bitpoint, damn, they lost 32 million. And a few months later, South Korean platform Upbit uh, lost 52 million. Uh, Zaif, another Japanese exchange, was attacked for 60 million in 2018. So this is some of those problems I talk about with exchanges and hot wallets. And the question then comes up is like, well, should I just hold everything into my uh, Nano Ledger, which is a cold wallet? Should I put it someplace else? And this is actually a complex uh, answer. And I'm going to do that right now in Q of the day. So let's jump in the office.